Hi there, this is Shree from Shreescraftgirls.com. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to make this beautiful little box and it's got a ribbon that is attached to the lid and it's very neatly put away inside so there's no jagged edges or tatty bits to look at. It's all neat and tidy and I think that's super and it holds a good sized candle as you can see. Whoops, if I can get it out. So it's a good depth. So you can get lots of treats, or as I say, a little candle in here. So it would make a, a lovely wedding favour box or a beautiful gift for anybody. I think that is absolutely super. So to make that, this I used um, Knight of Navy and I used, gosh, let me think which paper did I use? I really can't remember. I think Protection Metal Yours, which I think is a super collection and I they tally together beautifully. But today I'm going to use Popper Pink and some um, Whisper White. And with the Popper Pink this one has beautiful little gold golden flecks which I think again would be lovely for wedding favours. So for the lid you are going to need a piece that measures 6 inches by 6 inches and for the base you need one that is just a fraction hair's breadth less which is so why I've done 5 and 15 sixteenths of an inch by 5 and 15 sixteenths of an inch. So taking the base first what we'll do is we'll take our scoring tool and we will score on two inches on all four sides like so pop that to one side and on the top we're going to score First at seven eighths of an inch and then at two inches and turn and do that on all four sides. So that's seven eighths of an inch and two inches, turn seven eighths and two inches, last side seven eighths and two inches. And the reason we've done that is because we're going to double flap the lid so we're going to put the ribbon right the way across but this will fold inside the lid so it will it will hide the ribbon itself so hold and burnish all your score lines Same for the base, fold and burnish your score lines. Okay. Keeping the base, we're going to cut up any score line to start off with, and then we're going to turn and come up the score line, turn. And come up the score line and turn and come up the score line. So it attach it, it, it's cut like so. Whereas normally we would come up there, we're going to do it like that. And I'm, I'm just going to just take off a fraction. You don't have to, I just prefer to just notch the edges off a little bit. I just think. It, it closes that a little bit better, like so, and then, as normal, just a tiny notch on either side. Whoops, that didn't go right to the corner. Just, I just think it, it because it's quite a sturdy box. I just think it needs a little bit of trimming, just so it all sits nicely together once we glue it 
like all boxes because we slightly stretch where we score it just needs a little help to close and fit together so pop that all out of the way now I'm going to use sticker tape you can use fast fuse snail or whatever it is if you like if I was at home I would probably use a wet glue like Tombow but for speed I'm just going to use a little bit of sticky tape next to the score line on all four so you, you could do like I've done there just so it holds sits neater inside but for recording purposes I'm just going to pop it like so. So removing your sticky tape, the backing, construct your box as you would a normal box. Okay, you just go round all four sides. I don't even know if I'm in focus, I'm so sorry. And pop that one on the inside. And there is your box, the base of your box, already made. So bring back your lid. And this is just slightly different. Where you have your four or three, four, you have two squares and two rectangles in a corner. You're going to take this L shape away on each corner, just keeping the square itself. So if you cut down past your first score line to your second score line, and do that on both, and then remove the first piece, and then your square. So repeat, leave your rectangle, cut from past your first score line to your second score line, turn, cut past your first score line so you completely remove the end, come down to the first score line and remove. Okay, so you've got little flaps as you do there. So again, the opposite side, cut past your first score line to the second score line, past your first score line to the second score line, and remove the first two boxes, and then the single box, and repeat on the opposite side. Past your first, to your second, Past your first to your second, removing your outer one completely and removing your single box and just notch slightly. Whoops, almost says it's new sharpening. That wasn't a very nice cut at all, was it? To make such a notch but never mind. Just trim just slightly just so it, it will sit better when you close your box. Okay moving that one right away. Now you can choose which side you want your ribbons to go. You, can, you could go across all um, that way and that way. I'm just going to go across there so pop it to the wrong side taking a little bit of sticky strip just above that seat, that score line your first score line and on the opposite side as well just really the, the width of your ribbon now before we do anything else we're going to remove the backing 
taking our ribbon, I'm going to use the Whisper White Organs ribbon and I'm going to pop that on the piece of sticky. Bring it over, that wasn't very central. Try and get it in the middle. Like so. Then just bring it across your box and then give enough to go underneath to go onto your sticky strip underneath. So keeping it nice and central, you're going to bring it across and stick it to there. And there you have your ribbon on your back. I still don't like that one very much. So I'm going to move that over a bit more. Like so. And then you're just going to construct your box as you would normally. So wet glue, Tombow or Snail or Fast Fuse on all of your tabs on the pattern side. Like so. Turning it over and you're just going to put on your four flaps on the inside while you have your sticky strip or adhesive in your hand. Just pop along and do all those. Okay, then making your box, go back to your, your tabs and make your box as you would normally. Sides nice and even. On all four sides. If you've gone over like I have there, just fold it back on itself and then make your box as you would. Moving the backing, and there's your box made there. And then just go in and remove in your sticky strips on these, just fold them in and tuck them down, and that will give you a nice, neat inside to your box. Covers the flaps here. and it covers where you've put your ribbon. So just pop that across and there. Isn't that lovely? And that should just fit nice and snugly on your box, on your base. Isn't that beautiful? Now to make the ribbon, I'm not very good at making ribbons. So what I do is an old afro comb or something that has prongs at the top and I take a length of ribbon and you put your first piece to your right hand side and whatever length you want you need an even number so if you're going to do a little bow use four so you've got two on one side and two for the other bow I'm going to use six so it's one two three four five six you come round one, two, three, four, five, six. You come round the sixth one. Okay, and you come round the back, and that's when you can judge how much ribbon you need. I'm going to leave myself quite a piece, like so. Then you need this ribbon, the piece you bring round to come underneath the bit you have here, come underneath and go through the third or the centre tooth and then from this back side you need it to come back underneath the bottom if you can just grab and then you just simply 
tie a nice neat knot and on the back. Pull it quite tight, really tight because there is your bow when you slip it off. So bring it really quite, quite tight. You'd be surprised. And there you go. Then just simply slip your bow off of your comb and there you have a pretty, pretty little bow. I think that's great. And then because it's quite a big knot and I want it held quite, quite firmly, I'm going to use a tiny piece of sticky strip on the actual back of my bow. Only on the knot where the knot is and cut. Remove the back in as you would normally. And left with the sticky bit and pop that onto the lid of your parcel. And then I'm going to pinch my two together and I'm going to. Oh, my ribbon's gone the other way, hasn't it? That's it, pinch it together and cut from seam up to form that nice little tag. And do the same this side, fold it in half and come up and in to form your little flag tails. And there we have two beautiful beautiful little boxes and I think they are super super sized for wedding favours. You could get lotions, hand creams, lots of treats in there or as I say the candle. I hope you like my tutorial. Until next time, take care. Bye!